think we're ready to go. Here we've got Hex. Wait, wait, is this right? Hex Falcon versus Fly Amanita, the Ice Climbers. I guess it makes sense that uh, Hex would go Falcon in this matchup. Normally, he, uh, he, he's been going Fox for pretty much every matchup, except for, I think, certain floatier matchups, like versus Peach and versus, uh, versus maybe... No, I guess he would still versus Jigglypuff go Fox. I don't know. Anyway, he, he definitely goes Falcon against Ice Climbers. Hey, what up, Fly? Welcome to... This is a little awkward. <laughs> uh, do... Do you want to... Do you want to jump on Skype and... And do this... I, I don't... I, now I'm now I'm really self-conscious. Like, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to say something blatantly wrong. Um, while Fly is right here. The YOLO strats. Oof. No pressure, I guess. Uh, well, anyway, uh, I guess if you're tuning in on... Uh, yeah, let me get on Skype and then... <laughs> no! No, we're doing this. Who is this? Where's Fly? There he is. Hey. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Why is Kay calling? That scamp. <laughs> so, uh, I, hold on, let me see if I can share my screen maybe with you and then that way you can see the audio and it, or the video and it's not on a huge delay. Okay. I think that would be best. I think it drops the frame rate quite a bit, but... I um, don't really mind that. Yeah. Let's see. How do I do this? Where is it? Video. Yeah, share screens. There it is. Uh, I wonder if I can just show a certain window. Yeah. That might improve the, the frame rate of it. Okay, so is it is it working then? I see a paused screen, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, alright. It's all started. So usually, I don't know if you've seen any of these, but usually the way I do this is uh, I introduce the players and you know the characters that they're playing and kind of and a general overview of the matchup, and then uh, you know the player matchup and the character matchup, and then I usually will slow it down to somewhere around half speed, and then after that, um, I'll just kind of go through the match, calling out any kind of interesting decisions or. Um, yeah, usually just interesting decisions, because at, at the very slow speed, it's, I don't know, it's just interesting to watch, because at the at a really high speed, it's hard to break down uh, a lot of what you see. So I've seen a lot of uh, smaller, intricate moments uh, that I wouldn't have seen otherwise, and it's easier to break down for the stream. So, uh, I already introduced uh, the stream. This is Fly Amanita. I've done an interview with him in the past. You can watch that on my YouTube channel. Um, and then the other player is Hax. And as Fly was saying earlier in the chat, wait, is my stuff down? Everyone got really quiet. <laughs> um, hopefully, hopefully my internet did not die. Um, but, but all right. I guess uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start it. Okay. Go back a little bit. So it starts off. So did you have any kind of read on that? Like jumping, like just running no. off and straight up. Yeah, a lot of people just fall into that. All right. <laughs> okay. 
I, I was trying to do a lot of blizzard tricks against tax because East Coast Ice Climbers don't really blizzard that much. So I figured that'd probably work on him pretty well. Like, I didn't need to be lay out a shield there. You know, the tech roll. Probably. I probably wanted to reverse that, but didn't. It was kind of an awkward grab. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'd like to go back a, a little bit and just kind of see how that unfolded. Maybe a little bit slower. Because. Okay. So it started okay, off with uh, this, this fair. Let me see. Sometimes it VLC takes a little bit to. Um, catch up to itself. So he's stuck on that platform and you have the center stage. Okay, this is a something a lot of commentators bring up all the time lately is uh, control over center stage and when they first started talking about it I I don't know it it seemed a little overhyped but now that they brought it up, I can't stop bringing it up whenever I'm doing these analyses or analyses. Um, it's sort of important against Falcon. It, it kind of depends though on where Falcon is. Falcon, for the most part, is totally comfortable on platforms. That's not really any significantly worse than being at center stages for him. These ice cameras just can't really chase him up there that well. Mm -hmm. And the only time that, let's see. But I guess Falcon doesn't like being cornered that much. Like, if I have him by the edge, that's really bad for him. Ice climbers are just in general in a really strong position there. But he doesn't really necessarily need to be in the center to be in a comfortable position. He's generally just totally fine on platforms against ice climbers. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. So... Yeah, tried to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, so there I tried to up smash him because up smash will catch Falcon out of his short hop a lot. And he actually did a full jump, but the up smash covered both of those. Yeah, it looked like he landed on the platform and it caught him. I didn't. He was still rising to the platform. He had a oh, right. I think. Okay, so here I just want to get back on the floor, and that was yeah. a badly timed up air on his part. I'm probably gonna turn him around. Okay, I tried to send him backwards, but the way he died, the down smash sent him forward. I'm gonna blizzard here. It's really hard for a lot of characters to deal with that. He got through it pretty well. Yeah. He still didn't really necessarily get much off of getting through it, though. I guess yeah. he did get back to the stage, but that's worth something. Yeah. So there we both tried to attack the same space and he hit me first. Up there, up there. Misses. I do a ledge hop up there when people are above me. Okay. Yeah, I did pretty well, though. Probably just gonna forward smash here. I didn't want to do anything fancy, just put him off stage. This situation is always really awkward, depending on what the Falcon does. Okay. No! Uh, yeah, that was silly. That was a shield stun desync, and I wasn't expecting Nana to slide back like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. Up tilt. Up tilt's another thing that'll catch Falcon out of his jump a lot. I sometimes have a hard time hitting Falcon out of his jump, so I'll do a lot of things like up tilts and up smashes. There I did a dash attack because I was hoping to hit him before um, he would do something else, but. Now I'm kind of behind. <laughs> okay, Wait, let's go back just a little bit. Let's see, there was something I wanted to look at. Um, I think this dash attack. Hold up. It's kind of neat. Hey, you both went for this grab right here. As a follow up. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure why. It was a pretty good spot dodge. Was that... I mean, it worked out I fine. spot dodge. I spot dodge more with Sopo than I do with Sync Ice Climbers because Falcon can just kill me off a grab mm. in this case. Not that he can't when I'm Sync, but it's easier in this case. Yeah. Okay, that was... I faded a little too far back there. Almost got it, though. Back there. I, I wasn't really close. No. no. <laughs> so, yeah. Hex generally just goes to that platform when I'm doing respawn and instability. And I've hit, I would just would lock it. I'm surprised he managed to get a spot dodge out. That's kind of hard to do. When they have somebody trapped in their shield. And yeah. Kind of blizzard. That was a good uh, follow up from Hex. Mm hmm. Probably gonna up their hammer back there. Oh, he drifted back. Oh, I, I remember. I Oh, sorry, you go ahead, and then I'll ask my question. I usually shoot ice blocks when people land on Randall. Sometimes I can just knock them off. And again, I get him shielding. 
I'm probably gonna miss this. I, oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I tend to miss that on Yoshi because of the slams. Yeah. Okay, the question that I was gonna ask earlier... Um, let's see. There was a, a point where... I think on the first stock, and I'll have to go back. Uh, on the first stock of Hax's, he got you two separated, Nana and Popo, but then immediately started going after... It was right here, I think. Um, like, he could have gone for this grab or, or done something, maybe, to Nana. Yeah, he uh, probably should have up her Yeah, when he was sliding. That would have put her off stage. So was that a mistake? Or, like, in general, what do you think? Like, should should people... Is it too... Uh, I guess too many well, variables to it, or generally should people go after the uh, the Nana? More often than not, I think Falcon should go over, go after Nana if he can do so without any fear of retaliation from Popo. Because there really aren't a lot of characters that kill Nana as easily as Falcon does. Uh, Peach and Yana are the only two that really kill Nana about as well. Maybe Fox sometimes. Let me jump back to where we were. I think it was about 140. I don't remember how that happened. Maybe it wasn't. It, it was, was earlier than that. You yeah. stopped right after I killed him at like 80 with a charged forward smash because yeah. that kills ridiculously early on this level. Yeah. Ah, where is it? This is the main problem with using VLC for this is uh, with the slowdown, it... Uh, kind of just messes up. It tries to sync back up and it has problems. Mm. But it's still generally worth using for this kind of analysis. Yeah, I think this is right before where we left off. Yeah. Because I just grabbed him out of this. So were you... Like, how were how were you getting these grabs? Like You just kind of ran up and, and grabbed it. In this case, he yeah. was kind of locked in. Yeah, I do that a lot when people are by the side of the stage. It's really, really hard to get around Blizzard when I have people cornered. At least for a lot of characters. Yeah. And again, it's something Hax probably isn't used to dealing with that much. Hmm. So do you okay. just try to... Oh, sorry. So yeah, I got desynced there due to him putting a roll command when he was attacking the shield, and sometimes shield stun will cause ice climbers to do different things. That was a pretty good knee. Yeah. And the shield stun desync back air. Was that intentional, or...? Uh, I usually try to do that. It's huh. better than doing sync back airs, because if it misses, I have Popo on the ground, and he can crouch cancel anything like a Raptor boost. Right. Because if they both go airborne, I just get hit with both of them. Yeah, a lot of up airs. Up air screens are really, really good on ice climbers, yeah. just because of their fast fall accelerate. Not their fast fall, their regular falling acceleration. Okay. He does this edge guard. Probably gonna knee. Yeah. So I guess after how did he how did he get that hit that first hit? I don't remember. He. I don't either. <laughs> I did. I know I was going for a shield stun desync blizzard. I think Nana ended up on the platform and that somehow messed me up. Okay, any need, and knee is not always safe on hit at very low percentages. Yeah. So at zero, I just crouch cancel down, smashed it. Yeah, I was going to point that out. I like any other percent though. I don't even think that was an actual crouch cancel. I think I just smashed the down. The highly important Nana taunt. She always does that. Well, not <laughs> always, but okay. Side so be out of shield, Blizzard. That's, oh, that's another cool. Little... Yeah, it's pretty good on Falcon. Read this, grab. Pretty similar to one of the situations we saw earlier. Yeah. I don't even think that was a read. I think I was actually just reacting to the tech roll. Yeah. I, that, it kind of looked okay. like a reaction more than yeah, a read. Yeah, grab, do you to get a blizzard out? Ooh! That works a lot. <laughs> like most characters. If they fall into blizzard, I can do that. That's pretty scary, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to get a blizzard out right now. I, if Nana's getting up and I'm on top of her and holding down B, she does a blizzard as soon as she stands up. Huh. So it's a way of protect, protecting myself. Probably going to get a blizzard out here, too. How did that one happen? Were, that was, was that, that after was the a, roll? 
Yeah, that was a roll DC. Oh, okay. He's not over. Okay, interesting. I think thought Hex was expecting me to the brawl to the right there. And I was expecting him to just try to stomp out of shield, so I up smashed. Huh. Probably gonna be lay out of shield, yeah. So how do how does that desync work? Um you can't do the synced version of B lay when Nana is shielding. So if both ice climbers are shielding and I immediately enter up B. The game checks what Nana's state is in when I do the up B, and since she acts six frame after Popo does, she's gonna still be shielding if I do up B just right after leaving a shield. So oh. it just makes Popo do his solo version of up B, and Nana doesn't have her own up B, so she just reads the up B as just a jump input. And she actually does a full jump, but because Popo is right next to her, uh, his influence on her drags her down so her jump doesn't go all that high. Oh. Huh. Cool. Okay. Those off smashes weren't that good. They would have hit him if he was staying on the platform, but almost all Falcons will just stomp there. So I need to up air. Probably gonna grab here. As in, I meant he didn't. Yeah. Ugh. I rolled backwards to dodge it. That was a pretty nasty knee. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hard move for Ice Storms to deal with. Yeah. I'm probably gonna dash it back. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. That's probably good that I didn't. Yeah, it seems like it worked out. And there I just forward smashed. I could have tried something more substantial, but I just wanted to put him off stage. Probably gonna back her right here. Hmm. Yeah, I keep off smashing around that position. He doesn't really tend to fall into it that much. Probably gonna go for... An... That was a probably... Well, that was two things. I was trying to do a shield stun desync to get just Nana to Blizzard there, but even if I miss that, the sync short hop Blizzard is pretty safe unless Falcon goes really high. Yeah. And it did clip him, so it ended up being safe. Yeah. Oof. That wasn't too bad. I'm not really going to get punished for this, I think. Yeah. A shield stun desync neutral air. Man, these are crazy. I didn't know there were so many different ways. Like, I guess I see it, but I didn't really recognize it. I'm gonna do another blizzard here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that case, that, that kind of wasn't what I, what I was expecting to happen. A lot of the time, the blizzard will just make forward smash shield poke. And I, I don't think I expected him to roll there, but... Actually, no, wait, let me think back to this. We uh, can go back and watch it. Okay, sure. If I watch it, I can probably tell what I was thinking. Let me see, is this far enough back? I think it is. Yeah, this is about the right place. I'm gonna do the same. He shields it. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was just trying to just... Um, I don't think I could have gotten a grab in time. I think that's what I was thinking, so I just said, okay, I'm just gonna forward smash. It might shield poke. It probably wouldn't on Falcon, but even if not, Forward Smash does a lot of damage, so it induces a lot of shield stun. So I could just tell Nana to Blizzard again right after that, and it'd still be a hard situation for Falcon to be in. But instead, he just rolled backwards. It's like, okay, the Forward Smash will cover that too. <laughs> yeah, it worked out. So, okay, this matchup is, I mean, it's not good for Ice Climbers, but it seemed like you were pretty much in control that entire match. Is there like um, what, most of it? Well, I did. I just didn't let him stomp me that much. I was very proactive about getting blizzards up and trying to hit him out of short hops. Hmm. Was there anything that you think that he should have been doing or could have been doing, or was there just not enough room for him to to get anything? Um, he ran into a lot of blizzards and just in general seemed caught off guard by the move. You can sort of deal with that more by just. You can deal with that pretty well by going to platforms a lot. Like, Falcon can just approach blizzards from above. That's probably the easiest way to do it, and I don't think he did that very much. Yeah. He would just always go in near the ground. Yeah, because then Ice Climbers kind of have to gamble if they want to uh, attack Falcon, and then waiting around for Falcon to approach is also kind of a gamble. At least that's how it feels like watching it. I don't play Ice Climbers. But yeah. it, it does seem like a good position for Falcon to be in. Like, he he sort of has to gamble, too, going down, sort of. Like, he can kind of react, but 
I, I don't know. It, it just seems like it's more in his favor if he's on the platforms. Like he can kind of pick and choose his openings a little easier. Yeah, there's that. And there's just stomping on platforms. It's hard for ice climbers to punish. It outranges ice climbers up there. Really? I didn't yes. know that. If I try to upper him and he times a stomp right, he'll just win straight up. Wow. I did not know that. Okay, so in this game, I remember doing fine at first, then making a bunch of execution errors. Okay. Woo. I don't think I, I wasn't trying to combo into get up attack, but I was fine with it. I'm probably going to turn him around, yeah. So is that a mix up? Like, is he smash DIing different ways to try to mess you up, or does that just hit different directions and you can kind um, of tell beforehand? I have down. I have Nana jump forward so the down air sends him to the left. And a lot of the time, people will try to get out by doing something like smash DI to the right. If the yeah. move sends them to the left and they smash DI to the right, most of the time they'll just still put them in a position for me to turn around and grab them. Yeah. Although, I mean, Falcon can just get out of this whole thing really easily by just smash DIing up. It's good to but know. Most, Fal most Falcon players don't do that. S2J does, others don't. I didn't mean to walk off there, but it didn't really matter that much. Do ice blocks to try to prevent him from sweet spot in. I should have just grabbed the edge there. There wasn't really much else I could have done. There wasn't much time to to get there, yeah. though. And there I did an ice block, because... Ice block does more damage than a single hit of Blizzard, and hence induces more hit lag and shield stun. So oh. it's easier to get it to directly combo into a grab than Blizzard. And just in the position I was, Blizzard wouldn't have accomplished much, I think. Okay, and here I'm just... Okay, shield stun to sink. And then I have Smash in case he ran in. If not, I had Nana Blizzard again. I should have had her jump in Blizzard. If I told her to jump in Blizzard, it would have covered that. So was okay. she definitely dead right there if you didn't do that? Uh, yes. That upbeat? It probably is easier to tell at full speed. I feel like there's a lot going on here that I could have talked about or asked about. Was there like anything in this neutral game? Because I feel like a lot of players, myself especially, uh, in the neutral game, I'm just kind of running around, sort of. Like, just trying to... If I put myself in a weird position and then see what happens... Um, but usual, I feel like a lot of the top players don't do that. Like, my uh, usual goal in neutral against Falcon is try to get him to run at me and punish how he approaches me. It's kind of hard to just directly chase after Falcon. If the Falcon's execution isn't all that tight, then sure, I'll just chase after Falcon forever. But you know, against Hax, I didn't want to be really the aggressor. I think I, I was pretty confident most of the time I could get him to come to me. So like right here, this general situation, I don't really like being right here. I'd rather be kind of, not quite in the center, but a little off to the side. I think right there I was actually just trying to read a descent. I was expecting him to jump off the platform and, or short hop at me. So I was trying to intercept that with an up air, but he just ran off. Hmm. Okay. Probably, I guess that was okay. It probably wasn't too good though. It might have been, I, what I should have done was probably grab the edge and do the up B cancel. So that. I, I have a really hard time doing that. I don't really play any Ice Climbers, but I remember somebody asked in Metagame Monday about how it's done. I was like, isn't it just, you just do it? And then I couldn't do it. <laughs> uh, it it's not hard, you just need to know when to do it. You, okay. you need to do it, like, roughly at speed spot the edge, and you do it while you're still rising. You don't want to be like, have around zero vertical momentum. Okay. Hmm. Or negative. Yeah. Positive being the up direction. Really. Right. But, yeah. Let's see. So he gets this up air on you, and then what happens after this? He probably gets something else, or just puts me in a bad position. His up air, no matter what, is almost really, really bad for ice climbers. Uh, he could have punished that if he just crouch canceled it. Almost every character can punish that whole side B thing with just crouch canceling. Oh, yeah. I was... that was just me grabbing too late. I was trying to react to his DI, but couldn't. Ice Climbers generally can't react too easily for the down throw chain grab on Falcon. Yeah. Which is a real chain grab on until like 190%, but... I didn't know that. 
But yeah, I can't do it on the action. I don't think anybody really can. I was expecting him to DI in because he did last time, but he DI'd away. The forward smash was in anticipation of DI in. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna grab, yeah. I actually... I might have wanted to up throw. He should have done a get up attack there. It would have hit me during landfall special. His wave dashing does have that 10 frames of landing lag associated with it. Yeah. I guess I also the the get up attack would have been good because the most you could have done really to punish that would be like maybe do an up air. Like if you waited and baited out the get up attack here, then the most you could have really gotten was an up air, which I guess would put him in a bad position still. It wouldn't really matter that much for him. He just yeah. DIs it away. I actually I went a little too far back. So I anyway, we get to watch this again. Huh. It is down smash that it's really fast. It's a six frame kill move. I use it a lot when I need to do something on the action. I do that down there to mess up sweet spot attempts. Oh, uh, yeah. People get off guard get caught off guard by it. Okay. Interesting that Hack's job there. Hack's always used to just roll backwards after doing a close neutral air like that. I didn't see. I was typing out to Twitch. Oh, he just neutral aired my shield twice and then jabbed. Huh. He, he used to always roll backwards in response to that. Like in 2012. Yeah. I'm probably going to air dodge here. Yeah. My scrims are floaty, so that'll catch a lot of, catch a lot of people off guard, and I can frequently grab the edge with it. <clears throat> so, how do you approach, uh, like, when you're alone as just Popo versus Falcon? Like, what changes for you? Um, I can't Blizzard. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of my, a lot of my punishments won't be as safe because, well, a number of reasons, really. Now I'm just gonna Blizzard backward. But fortunately, people never know that, so they don't punish it. <laughs> well, uh, what was the setup to make? Oh, uh, okay. So, wait, what? It, well, did, where I was just I missed Nana, uh, blizzarding backwards. Oh, uh, it's because I was doing a blizzard with Popo at the same time, and she'll uh, blizzard backwards after if you're doing a sync blizzard on the. Well, not it's not quite a sync blizzard on the ground. Popo started the blizzard a little bit later, and what that means is at the end of the blizzard, Nana will see that Popo is doing blizzard on the ground, and that means that makes her blizzard backwards. Oh, okay. Because it's like it's a grounded blizzard, and yes. then it turns around for it. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Just well, you were asking about what I think you might popo generally. A lot of my combos aren't as good when I'm just popo for a number of reasons. One, just hitting once obviously does have as much damage as hitting twice, and also the that has a few other little effects. One, if I just that was supposed to be not be out of shield, but I jumped first for some reason. I don't know. Like I said, I made some pretty big execution errors this one. That was a weird backwards up there by Max. The forward one yeah. would have been better. But yeah. He took down his double jump, so he's dead. Good he's a pretty good back here. Yeah, Ice Climbers can't really do anything about Falcons back there when recovering. You can just sort of sit there and just back there over and over. That works fine too. Yeah. But there are a lot of things that work fine in that situation. Yeah. That's true. So I see you do the forward B off of that quite often. Is it just to keep Nana in sync? Uh, that's part of it. It also is a reliable way of making her not taunt. Huh. Okay. I guess. Uh, well, this might be the wrong time to ask about what triggers that, or if it's just entirely random. It's not entirely random, but it's very... It's hard to consistently manipulate. Like, the, the safest way of making it not happen, other than just doing a side B, is... Um, it's just standing in place on the platform a little bit before falling. Hmm. Okay. I was trying to catch him out of his jump, but he jumped earlier than I was hoping he would. Not sure why I expected to jump there. Hmm. The knee. Yeah, 
Uh, I was considering doing a sync side B, I'm sure, when I was falling towards Nana, but that tends not to do much for. Um, oh, that almost got. That, that would have put me above Falcon. And then he would have got gotten a bunch of up airs and just killed Nana, anyways. Yeah. I was just thinking, okay, let's land and just try to hit him out of something, but he just need me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going to be an up air and probably another up air. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to do anything fancy. It really isn't all that much need to me in that case. Okay, back air. That was actually kind of a questionable spacing on the back air, but he still got it. Okay, he's just doing the Ganon edge guard. That knee was weird. That yeah. up air. Yeah, he's. There's really no reason for Falcon to miss those things. Okay. That was a good, uh, was a good little dash dance. Yeah, I really shouldn't have been trying to chain grab him, which is something I've been more aware of, especially recently. Popo can essentially do Sheik tech chases to Falcon. Not quite as well as Sheik, but almost as good. Huh. Instead of just opting for a chain grab. Like, there's a set of me against West Pulse's Falcon where I just t chased him to death like twice in a row with Popo. That was from the tournament on Saturday. But okay, so then Hax gets me on stage, does what is taking the edge guard. So yeah, running forward like that sometimes helps prevent Nana taunts too. It varies by stage. Like, it tends not to work on Yoshi's, I think, but it works on Fountain. Okay, that time I did catch him with the dash attack out of the jump. I'm probably going to want to back here and here. I'm going to expect him to pull back, though. Oh, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, most... Usually, if Falcon's recovering, like, that high, they're going to pull back. So you can just stand there. And then they're going to pull back to the edge, and you just down smash them. For whatever reason, I didn't do anything. I'm not sure why. I probably was just caught off guard. I, I think I might have been expecting him to land on the platform, like, the left side of the left platform, and I was just waiting to back here. I probably wasn't expecting him to go all the way back to the edge. So there, you just did a very, uh, like, a whole lot of blizzards that ended up getting... You kind of edged your way uh, to the center of the stage to where he, like, is now stuck on this platform, sort of. No, I mean, as stuck as Falcon gets on a platform, but I thought I just thought that was interesting. Like, you barely got a little bit of ground, and it was I pretty much safe. I didn't really do anything to force him on the platform. He just went there. He could have just stayed on the floor if he wanted to. But yeah. he, I guess, would have rather been on the platform. Yeah. So I was doing back airs hoping that would hit the falling knee. You can sometimes just back air his knee. But he drifted a little differently than what I expected. I don't I don't know why I go to the very center of the stage. I think maybe I was hoping he would just drop through the platform. It's generally better to be a little off to the Whoa. side. Like a little off of, say... Like, if Falcon's on the right platform, it's a little better to be near the left side of the center, I think. It's either that or the right side. It's, I don't want to be, like, right in the center, because then he can just run off and do an aerial, yeah. like he just did to me. So, right here, that F-Smash, did you have a read on that, or how uh, did that... Yeah, that's usually a guess. It's A lot of the time, it'll just catch Falcon when he's jumping. Like, I don't want to, like, run in with... A... There are a lot of things that I can't just run in on Falcon because his short hop will go over it. But forward smash starts high, so it will hit Falcon out of a short hop. Huh. So he did a full hop and then ended up going down through the platform. Which, that also caught. It was interesting. Yeah. I'm probably waiting for a shield stun to sink or something, but he went behind me, so I tried to back air, but... He neutral aired around it. Oh, yeah. yeah. He should have just... Okay, he did kill Nana eventually. He should have done it earlier, though, because then he wouldn't have this popo in the mix. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm guessing from here on, I'll just speed it up a little bit. I'll probably just do a lot of back airs. That's what he yeah. should do at least. That was a weak back air, though. That actually gave me an opportunity to trick him like that. What I like to do is I'll, I'll be mashing side B. Um, to, and something I like to do when I'm mashing side B to recover is I'll just hit B once and start mashing A instead. It does absolutely nothing, but it makes it sound like I'm mashing. So... People will think I'm going to be trying to recover high, but instead I just fall and land towards the stage. Huh. It's a cool little trick. Some out-of-game tricks. Make it sound like I'm going high and just go low because I'm mashing a button that doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so I go Fountain next. Because even if I don't... Have, my favorite stage against Falcon is probably Yoshi's, but I already won on that. And I right. figured Hacks just wouldn't like Fountain because most Falcons don't. 
So why did you both start on on Yoshi's? Um, it's my favorite stage against Falcon, and I figured Falcon would strike there. If I take off Dreamland and Battlefield, that leaves FD, Fountain, and Yoshi's, and um. FD is kind of annoying to fight Falcon on this because he has a lot of space to work with. It's really hard to pin him down. I mean, he can still just kill Nan off any random hit pretty easily. Uh, Fountain, the low platforms, it's really easy to get stomped through. But the thing is, in spite of that, Falcon players still just think, oh, it's Ice Climbers on FD, I don't want to fight them there. It's yeah. Fountain of Dreams, I don't want to play there. So Falcons will still usually go Yoshi's, but I think it's good for me. Okay. And then okay. this is a notoriously bad Falcon stage. Even though I think, I think he's fine, most of yeah. the top players don't mind it. Yeah. So neutral air out of shield. I do that. Um, neutral air out of shield is like a frame 9 out of shield option, but it's sometimes pretty good for when people are in a position where I don't think I can grab them. Hmm. I'm probably going to try to back her there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I caught him landing. That was supposed to be a shield stone desync. And it actually kind of was, because I may now do a different jump than <laughs> Okay. And again, spot dodging more because I don't want to get grabbed. I jab, but he stomps over it. Right now, I probably just want to dash attack or, or grab him. And yeah, I jab a lot because the jab will pseudo combo into grabs. And I get the downer again, but he still grabs the edge because of where I down ran. You get a lot of these grabs that they're ooh. Yeah, a lot of these grabs where it's kind of a just like a naked grab, you just run up and, and Yeah. Get okay, that's another thing right there. I, I'd seen I messed it up, but I'd seen hacks just always very, very frequently just go to the left platform and shield on the previous stages. So I was pretty sure he was gonna do it right there. Huh. So I just did it and so I just ran off and grabbed him. Oops. Okay. No, that's okay. I can, actually can't say a little bit about what happened there. So yeah. he's trying to do the hack stashes. By, by just getting in his way, I prevent him from just going back to the edge. So he's just standing there vulnerable. <laughs> because, you, because you know how the characters um, can interact with each other's positions? You know, those uh, collision detection diamonds you might have seen yeah. before? By just getting behind Falcon, that just messes up the, the hack stash entirely. Because I'm just sort of in his way. I'm slowing him down just by standing there so he doesn't go back to the edge. That's funny. I didn't know that. It's like three or four things I learned today. That's so crazy! <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you can't do the wave dash all the way through you. Okay. A few things happened there. I tried to put him behind me in down smash, but the way he DI'd, let him get out. But then that just put me in a position to up air him. In this case, I'm probably just going to forward smash. Oh, I was waiting for a handoff. That was weird. Yeah, it was on that platform, I guess. I think I was banking on the edges from the platform still influencing the direction Nana throws, and I think it actually did, but not the way I wanted it to. Right. Is, when Nana's close to two edges, she'll always choose back throw. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. You know, I'm just trying to catch him out of jumps a lot, but not really succeeding. The Nair, was in, the Nair I did there was trying to hit him out of an E, because Nair can hit Falcon out of his knee, interestingly enough, but... It does. It loses to Falcon's neutral air, though. Yeah. Okay. It goes to the right platform because the left one is in the stage. Yeah. Okay. It would have been nice if that up air almost comboed into a back air, but not. No, that one didn't either. Hax was DIing those pretty well. I probably just want to forward smash him now. Yeah. This is now. It's going to back throw, and I'm going to combo off of it. Wow. Cool. Yeah, as soon as I got the grab, I knew what she was going to do, and I figured Hacks would DI in, so I just positioned myself for a back air. Nice. I'm gonna pour it, pour it out of shield is sometimes okay. It'll catch Falcon out of his short hop, even though it's slow. Here, I just want to up air Hacks as quickly as possible so I don't get stomped more. I, I like this too. You went back and caught him out of his full hump, or his full jump. Yeah, people tend to jump by the edge a lot. Yeah, it also expected. feels especially bad when you're the one who gets caught with yeah. one of those. Yeah, and that forward smash, well, I mean, we just saw earlier, he just ran at me a neutral air, and 
when I was just Popo, and I figured in that position he would just nuclear air again, so I just threw out a forward smash and hope he would jump into it, and he did. Falcon can't really do very much about that. What he actually did was about the best. Going backwards is pretty good. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna get a blizzard out, he runs into it. I'm probably gonna want a blizzard again because that worked, yeah. He runs into it again. I'm gonna up air him because I don't want to get stomped. Like even if stomp beats up air, up air comes out faster. So I can still frequently just up air him in that situation. He can probably kill me and knock that, but I get in the way. So Chudat, I remember he, like, people would talk about Back, yeah, way back in the day, the way Chudat would play Ice Climbers is he would almost bait people into attacking Nana, and then he would follow up on that. Like, that, it just kind of reminded me of that. It's like, oh, well, let me go after Nana, but then you get more off of it. Or at least um, you got an up air. It, it's something I'll do if the situation arises. It's not generally something I actively want to do, though. I'd rather get a synced punish than just a punishment with just Popo. Yeah. And I don't want Nana to really be in a precarious situation in the first place. But if she is, sure, I'll see what mileage I can get off of it. He probably should have just killed Nana right there. But he did anyways. <laughs> so it didn't matter. Down throw a knee. But I land on the platform. I sh Probably shouldn't have down smashed. I think I was just hoping he would be a little slow on that. Okay, right here, I know he's going to go on the left platform and get the shield again, because he always does. So I do the same thing I did on his first stock. Wow. And a desync of, oh, I did he sync to nice block to try to mess up this sweet spot. But he still got the sweet spot anyways. So I'm just going to try to forward smash him out of this. But um, the thing is, I did a forward smash with just Popo. Nana was still doing a blizzard. And if people just hit Popo out of that, I can just tell Nana to forward smash right afterwards. So I forward smashed him during the knee landing lag. And that one killed him. Nice. Well, uh... Wow, I didn't know Hex had so many habits. I didn't know. That's, <laughs> uh... That's interesting. How many, like, does... I guess everyone has has them, sort of? Like, Mango's um, the only one people usually will talk about being able to change it up on the fly. But, I don't know. Uh, Johnny is really good at mixing up what he does, I think. West Bowl sometimes is... But other times not. Johnny is pretty consistent about being really hard to read, though. Uh, Hax is kind of a different style of Falcon than Johnny. Johnny is really good at keeping track of player habits and making up, mixing up his own. And Hax just likes to do everything quote unquote perfectly. Yeah. And but if you're always trying to pick the right thing without um, really mixing it up that much, that that's it's kind of a dangerous thing to do. Especially against a character like Ice Climbers. Like, if I guess what you're going to do with Ice Climbers, I'm probably going to get a harsh punishment. So, 